welcome to our tech study park so my name is vivek so today we will start a uh, next continuation of language fundamental but is array so today we will discuss array aap mere sath is pure video mein bane rahiye you can definitely will find a more content in the array this topic i will discuss in this total array okay so maybe it will take long session one hours one hours 10 minute maybe so so this is our channel once i will show you where you can yep. this is our channel this is the last video you can see okay this is the essentials and this is also one i have uh, created one video related to sonar queue with aws using docker so how to run sonar queue in aws using ec2 and by the help of docker and uh, also how to use code review debug all these things i have discussed here you can go and check it okay so uh, let's start our today's discussion guys so going to the presentation part yeah now it's array arrays arrays array is the different arrays is the different thing arrays is the concept array is one class is there in java right so i we will discuss later on the that that part First, take a pen. Let's see. This is today's uh, our agenda. First, we will discuss introduction about the array and what is the need. What is the need? Why? What is? Why? Okay. Because we have already integer float. What is the integer float? Pair. Okay. all this data types we have but what is the requirement for this okay why in this why question we will cover if you learn anything you can ask yourself why what who okay and how these three question is required why why how and what you can find these three questions of ask these three question you will get these three questions answer then you can understand this topic any topic so in this introduction part we will i will tell you okay and second part array declaration how to declare array third part is array constructions okay fourth part is initialization fifth part is declaration construction initialization in single line okay this is fifth point is important yahan tak aapko ye video to dekhna hi dekhna hai samajh raha ye single line mein kaise declare karenge hum array ko yahan pe dekhenge fir is length mein hum difference and length method mein dekhenge फिर एनोनिमस एरे कैसे बनाते हैं एनोनिमस एरे हाउ टू डिक्लेयर एनोनिमस एरे एंड व्हाट इज द एनोनिमस एरे एंड एरे एलिमेंट असाइनमेंट एंड एरे वेरिएबल असाइनमेंट दिस नाइन टॉपिक्स वी विल डिस्कस टुडे सेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो बिफोर दैट व्हाट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ओके व्हाई वी नीड दिस सो हियर uh previous we have int int i equals to 10 right right so suppose i want to store thousands of integer value in the variable so what is the approach we should follow so what is the approach we should follow to uh, in uh, initialize the 100 numbers in the variable so we can uh, use like integer 
a b c d and n number of 100 times you can use 100 variable name right and then and it lies one by one so programmer find the developer like developer found, found this issue so because of this issue they develop array concept array concept why because in the array you can declare one array like int okay perfect and inside this int you can assign a number of value one two three four five six whatever you value you want you can initialize okay inside this array right perfect So, ये थी requirement. Suppose अपने पास सौ number है. सौ number को हमें store कराना है variables में. तो हमें सौ variable बनाने पड़ेंगे. ठीक है. और कितनी memory लेगा ही? चार byte. एक variable चार byte मतलब चार सौ byte memory consumption करेगा. ये अकेला एक variable. So, memory utilization is also there in the array concept and easy to declare easy to initialize so this is the advantage and why the people develop array so now about of course definition definition uh, practical session had today today's practical sessions wait 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 guys Not yeah introduction so now coming to the introduction part a, an array is an indexed collection of, of fixed number of homogeneous data types kya matlab index based theek hai जैसे array ये होगा, एक array बनता, index based है, ठीक है, 0, 1, 2, 3, these are the indexes, ठीक है, indexes, 0, 1, 2, 3, these are the indexes, and here you can initialize the value like 10, 20, 30, 40, like that, okay, fixed number of homogeneous, homogeneous मतलब, same type के अगर आपने if you declared integer type data type integer type then you can only store inside the array integer if you are use if you are storing any other data type it will give the compile time error like not allowed okay so this is meaning of homogeneous I think it's clear so now the advantage the main advantage of array is represent multiple value with the same name they go and multiple value 10 20 30 40 but name is suppose name is it's presenting a name is same a, a is the name of variable by using a you can access 10 20 30 40 okay whatever you want you can access this value by using indexes if a of zero pass you can see the value of zeroth position if you print a of one you can access 20th value of the first position so this is the main advantage so that the readability of code will improve Readability is improved. Okay, na. Agar ham saw variable banate, a one 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 one, to readability ni complexity ho jati. To isliye. Ek disadvantage kya hai? Iski disadvantage ek ki hai. Disadvantage kya hai? Ye size mein fixed hai. Aur usme ek hi type hai. Hum data type store kar sakte hai. Fixed in size. Fixed in size. This is not uh, dynamically uh, increasing the size. Once at the time of you can create, uh, I declare the size like five. So it will store only five element inside the array. 
if you are storing more than five it will give array index of bound exceptions so in the array there is a no chance of increasing and decreasing element there is no facility is there in the array like decreasing and increasing the size based on our requirement that is array concept compulsory we should know the size of advanced so this is one disadvantage so agar aap array declare karna hai to you should it should first uh, know about the values how many values it should store inside the array so now just i think it's clear so now this ppt is only one thing why अगर हमारे पास मल्टीपल वैल्यू है सेम टाइप की और वो स्टोर हमें करानी है तो एरे इज द बेस्ट वे ठीक है एडवांटेज क्या है इसका मल्टीपल वैल्यू हम स्टोर करा सकते हैं एज अ सेम नेम और उसको एक्सेस करना इज वेरी इजी अब एक डिसएडवांटेज क्या है इसमें एरे साइज इज फिक्स्ड वी कैन नॉट चेंज राइट सो नेक्स्ट वी कैन नॉट we can resolve this problem by using collection java provide one collection framework by using collection we can uh, avoid that like increasing and decreasing size and homogeneous also in the collection you can store uh, uh, any num any type of data inside this collections like if you declare a list inside the list you can declare store any like integer string object whatever you want you can store inside the list and home and also size the, the dynamically it will increasing the size dynamically it will decreasing the size so by using collection this is resolved now come here array declaration so array declaration is just declare array int int a this is the declaration of array now here you can see int a right like that we can declare like this okay array and also you can declare the array with this variable and array with this variable like just valid way valid it's also valid it is also valid now next is at the time of declaration we can't specify the size we can't specify the size otherwise we will get compile time error like that at the time of declaration De at the time of declaration we can't we can't i can show you so start our id once we do d where is our id nice nice nice, nice. so now id is starting so up to this come here hmm. okay not microservices for java fn okay parallelly i will show the practical also once id is started okay up to this we can see so at the time of this is not a valid way right as a system god 
it is started here you can see add add a declaration now int now this int array a equals to perfect okay r is x right okay x is x z is not this so this is valid and this one is also valid t perfect but if you declare like in like five five and g it is not valid what is going the syntax detects is token it is not valid it's given a compile time error so that point i have told you here okay at the time of declaration at the time of declaration you can we cannot we cannot you cannot declare the size of that uh, variables uh, okay otherwise we will get compile time error this is fine here you cannot two dimensional array how to declare two dimensional array like that int like that and you can use with that a also and you can use a with this also like int a and a like that also int a and space a with this also int a and space a but you cannot declare like this int a with that a so it is compiled down. Now here, if you can see, should be dimensional array. Okay, perfectly valid. U int array space array w perfectly valid int this and a it is valid or not it is not valid not valid i've shown you here you can see here this is not valid i have told you this is point is invalid invalid valid valid this is also valid this is also valid. this is also valid here like that you can declare a dec this is only declaration not initialization initialization part is different okay and now let's three dimensional array declaration three dimensional character declare karta hai boy same tarika hai yaar ek int a like like that three dimensional group three square bracket like a not a b c d e w r r you can declare 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 three dimensional is perfect right and r you can take r perfectly valid valid no valid uh, you can take r valid valid if you're taking space then it's valid and if you take here q not r well it's well so now these are the valid cases you can go and check take this ppt in my group i will share this ppt and of this course when we complete this language fundamentals then I will share this PPT in the last video. So you can go and download this PPT and practice this. Up to this, you can go through uh, our videos. So now this is valid three dimensional declaration. Valid, valid, and this is also valid. This is valid, this is valid, this is valid, this is valid. All the points are valid. Perfect. Now here. Here, here, here. You can see here is that int 
valid point here is a1 you can declare like that you can declare like that a2 v2 like that you can declare okay for this variable is this box is the square bracket for this is this one right right note one not point is there you can if you want to specify the dimensional before the variable the rule is applicable only for the first variable only for the first variable dimensional this is invalid this is rule applicable for only here you can if you want to specify the dimensional before the variable dimensional before the variable that rule applicable only for the first variable this rule applicable only first variable not for the second variable okay so this is not valid point invalid So now second variable onwards we cannot apply in the same declaration like that int int this is the dimensional this is dimensional this is dimensional this is a variable this is the variable this is the invalid i have told you no to give a one not point before that variable if any dimensional is there it's invalid not a valid at the last last but it's a valid if in the middle or like first dimensional it is valid array construction every java every array in java is an object hence we can create by using nico what hum object create kare new keywords na kare but in java object is array is object so by using new keywords we can uh, create object like this uh, i can show the example here i can i will share this code also uh, int uh, like test equals to new new int of if they like, right now it's giving an error because when you initialize at the starting point i have told you when you initialize like this that is first yes okay. somewhere i have given to you what point when you initialize is it clearer size of that array otherwise we'll get a compiled right where else you can add you can do something that's why it's giving error. you can just declare a three or four pen now is this is the base right Again, I am sharing. Yeah, so stop sharing. Okay, so now taking a pen here, you can see this one I have told you to by using int test goes to new test. This means it's created a three size of array like this 0, 1, 2, and here is pointing to test by using test by using test like test of zero you can access zero position like 10, 10 and also you can add test if you want to add the value 20 here so first position and add 20 perfect here you can add it like that you can add so now this is the array declaration and you should give the size right you should give the size of that value perfect hmm.
Okay, this is the example. You can see the diagram also. I have given to you three. Then A pointing to this object of particular thing. Okay. Now, for every array type, for every array type, corresponding class are available, but these class are part of java.language.programmer level. What is that? Int. This class is there, comma. This is what the programmer level, not for our developer level. D. So don't worry about the corresponding classes. So some rules are there in array. So first rule is at the time of array creation, compulsory we should specify the size. Okay? This is the rule. We should pass the size. Otherwise, we will get compile time error like that. We should pass the we will get compile time. This error we will get if you passing a empty dimension. Rule number two. It is legal to have array with size zero in Java. Okay, it is legal, not illegal, not illegal. So here I am just giving example to create one int uh, array equals to new int of zero. Passing the zero size, okay. If you print the length, uh, sys out, uh -huh, sys out, uh, a of array of zeroth position. I want to print the zeroth position of this array. Now let's see what is the output. Now here, index array bound exception length is zero. Length is zero. It length is not there. That's why it's getting compile time. Take so you can print a r dot length. Right now here. Now you can get the length zero length. You can see this zero. Perfect. So now this is that. Violet. It is illegal to have array with the size zero. It is valid as if an interviewer asks, "Can you declare array with the zero initialization?" Yes, you can say yes. It is valid in the Java. We can initialize array with the zero, zero, zero size, right? So now rule number three is. Rule number three is if we taking if we taking array size with negative value negative into value then we will get runtime exception. What is that it's saying? Negative array size exception. Let's see this exception also. I want to show you here. Minus one, I can perfectly so valid. Uh, exception will throw. let's see which exception negative array exception. No. Here you can see the negative array exceptions. Now, here you can see negative array exceptions. Perfect. So now some example I have given. Rule number four is rule number four. क्या है? Rule number three तो समझ गए होगे. Rule number three is अगर हम किसी size में negative value pass कर दें तो exception दे रहा है. Zero is valid, but negative is not valid. Rule number four. The allowed data type types to specify array size byte, sort, char, int. By mistake, if we are using any other type, we will get compile time errors, right? If you declare int, if you are passing other than 
these four data types it will get compiled now here you can see int a equals to a it's a valid byte 10 b equals to byte 10 perfect it's valid now i will show you int equals to new int b is valid because byte we can pass here right sort we can pass sort here also but if you're passing this is the binary value right so 1010 is the binary if you can see here 1010 think not 101 l l i think so l is there l okay large value if you want to passing okay long long that's what it's getting at perfect so now if this is for precision loss of precisions and digit cannot take int a equals to new int 10.0 because int in the literals i have told you if you are integer data types inside the integer you cannot initialize the float if you are trying to initialize data will lost okay so just if the data lost the next is rule number five the maximum allowed array size in java is maximum value of int size jo maximum value hai na int size ki ko hi allowed hai java jaisa agar hum ne int a equals to new int five de diya theek hai तो ये फाइव का तो अरे बना देंगे ठीक लेकिन जो इस डेटा है ना ये डेटा हम इसी रेंज में स्टोर कराएंगे इसके रेंज के बाहर जाएंगे तो ये दे दे कंपाइल टाइम आ रहा ठीक है देख साइज कितना चाहिए इसमें टू वन सेवन अगर हमने एट कर देना तो ये इनवैलिड हो जाए आउट ऑफ मेमोरी एरर्स ठीक है Multi dimensional array creation in Java. Multi dimensional array are implemented as an array of arrays approach, but not matrix form, which approves arrays of arrays approach, not a matrix form. The main advantage of this approach improve the memory utilization. Okay. We do we don't we no need to declare one more array inside us. We should declare one two-dimensional array like this. So this is the base size, base size of this array means two is the base, like okay, zero, one. And here you can see zeroth, zeroth position having int three. So three sides have three. We have three sides. Size is three. Now first position, first position pointing to two now. Two sizes two. So this array is related to two sides. Zero one zero one two. So this is whole represent only a. Okay, by using A, you can access this data, this data, this data, this, this also. Which data you want, you can access. Yes, right. So now, this is the same diagram. Yeah, okay. This diagram is there, you can see. Now, this is the three dimensional array. Three dimensional array. Base is same, two. Same process is there. Base is same. 
if you want you can see the diagram otherwise i can also prepare base is two na to apna base kitna hai do do bana diya humne do to pehli line mein maine kya kara zero ye zero hai na zero one to zero ko maine de diya iska base teen zero ka maine bana diya base teen zero ka base teen ye bhi two dimensional array hai na zero one जीरो वन टू बना दिया ठीक अब बना दिया अब इस जीरो पे इस जीरो पे इस जीरो पे मैंने ए ऑफ जीरो जीरो इंट वन जिस जीरो पे एक जीरो बनाया जिस पे बनाया ठीक है दूसरे पे दो टू पॉइंट मतलब वन टू दे देना तो टू दे दिया इसकी पोजीशन मैंने क्या दी जीरो वन जीरो वन वन यू कैन क्रिएट टू डायमेंशनल हेर यू कैन सी ना ए एफ जीरो इज देर ना ए एफ जीरो ए एफ जीरो एंड वन पोजिशन पोजिशन इज फर्स्ट सो इट विल क्रिएट अ टू लाइक नेक्स्ट इज ए एफ जीरो दिस वन ए एफ जीरो ए एफ जीरो एंड साइज इज टू साइज इज सॉरी सॉरी दिस वन साइज इज थ्री यू कैन सी साइज इज थ्री राइट सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट इन लेट वन मोर थिंग हेयर यू कैन चेक ए एफ वन वट इज दट ए एफ वन ए एफ वन इज सेकेंड ए एफ वन ए एफ वन दिस जीरो ए एफ वन ए एफ वन ए एफ वन ठीक है दिस वन इज द ए एफ वन दिस वन जीरो वन A of one is this. So A of one having two dimensional base is two, and size is two, two 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 array, two array. When I did two, this ka base one ka pehle to two, to ke base one ka two. This is base size is two. So base size pe zero pe ek do pe ek chahiye. So now here you can see. The valid and invalid. First is, you can anyone tell me, int dimension dimension a equals to new int invalid because size is not there. That's why int dimensional dimension equals to new int size is the valid. And here you can see dimension dimension a equals to new dimension three zero valid. Base is there three na so valid. int dimension dimension equals to new int size base size is not there expected invalid this is invalid base size is should be there that's why it's here. fifth int three dimensional equals to valid you can give a base size also size of your second array third array so This one is also valid. Not required to give the size for the last array. Seventh point is, the one point is int zero है, zero है, zero है. Cos two new int third zero one. So five times. Now array initialization, array initialization, array को initialize कैसे करते हैं? Array को initialize, array में अभी तक हमने declaration देख लिया, देखो declaration, declare array, creation of array, अब initialization of array. जो array हमने create किया ना इसमें data कैसे डालेंगे? जो ये एरे मैंने लिया ना वी हैव टेकन जीरो वन साइज ऑफ थ्री एरे एरे स्टार्ट विद ओनली जीरो सो वी टोटल साइज इज थ्री सो इस पोजीशन पे हाउ टू सेट अ डेटा लाइक सो इन दिस सेक्शन आई विल टेल यू सो वेन वी आर क्रिएटिंग एन एरे एवरी एलिमेंट इज 
initialize with the default value default value is if you int default value is automatically initialized with the zero zero okay now here you can see int a equals to new int three size is three we created size if you print this it will print the object first is the class name and array then hexadecimal name hexadecimal name hexadecimal number it will print now here you can see system dot out dot print lm zeroth position here is the zeroth position is there no so it will return zero so this is sample also but later point up now this is that uh, i have told you class name first is showing the class name then at the rate hexadecimal then a string representation and hash code I have told you this is the base value, base size. So here, this is the class name at the rate hexadecimal string representation with hash code. This one and a of zero is what is it was here? Here you can see a of zero. That one base size is 2 right base size is 2 0 1 okay now here it will accessing a of 0 a of 0 is there, there anything is there nothing so now it's sharing a of 0 of 0 means creating for this 3 0 0 0 it initialize with the 0 that's why it's giving 0 Mm -hmm. Here you can see no? that example I have told you. If you one with the zero, zero no zero is there. This area. Here you can see that example also. Like three. Two dimensional light. Two dimensional. Two dimensional is this three and two three two three. Same example I am giving two and three. Right now, if you print arf dot length, otherwise this trash this out and arf array. 0 a of, of array again. you can print only here Let's see what is that output uh, comment this one now here first is the class name i two dimensional i na? this is the correspondence class i have told you no? correspondence class in the ppt correspondent class is there and the PPT cross keep it uh, corresponding PPTs close this corresponding <clears throat> this is uh, you can see this is the I don't know square bracket square bracket and I what is that i so here you can see this is the i so this is the simple this this is the use of correspondence class if we declare as a double double of even so now here come here okay perfect Hmm. Then AR of 0, if you are accessing AR of 0, is also giving a same mod. Like this. This is the integer. Now here you can see. 
Now is the uh, one square bracket, right? One, it's integer. Then this is the one dimensional array. Now inside this one zero is the one dimensional array. Then if you get passing, if you are passing, 0 comma 0 one dimensional and the 0 is by default value is 0 and you can get out 0 is perfect so now this is the use case now next is our this is the also example so This is the base size, no? null, null, we are initializing null with this. We are initializing null. Base is 2. What remaining is null. Okay, we will initialize nothing. So when you print A, it will return the object because of the two-dimensional array. And if you print a of 0, it will return a null value because it is storing null. Nothing is there. If you are printing this, it is a null pointer exception. This is the simple. Once we here you can see. Once we create an array, all its element by default initialized with the default values. If we are not satisfied with those default values, then we can replace with our customized value. Like that, if you're not satisfied with this value, you can customize this value. Like in his like first position, pe hume zero chahiye. zero position, pe tenth, one position, pe this, twenty second position, pe, uh, thirty. Like this, if you, you can, if you in, declare as the four size is four, or you can initialize more than four data, then you will get array index out of bound exception. Array index. So maybe interviewer asked when we get uh, array index out of bound exception in that interview. So you can just say if you declare an array and in declaring array in initializing, not a declaring, initializing array with the size of four and you are trying to insert the data more than four, then you will get array index out of bound exception. Right, it's the runtime exception, not a compile time exception. Great. So, if you want, you can try this example on your own. Not required to try all these examples. Now, here, and this is the representation of these examples. So, first, just say he humne, uh, humne four kara thana, four jesse himne kara, to yaha pe. 0, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4 हो गए ना क्योंकि इस स्टार्ट होता 0 से जैसे ही हमने 0 पोजीशन पे गया ना तो 10 गया फर्स्ट में यहां पे क्या था 0 0 कटी 20 गया 30 गया 40 गया और 50 गया नहीं तो फोर्थ पोजीशन पे माइनस 4 तो गया दिस इज सो नोट पॉइंट इज दैट दिस इज इफ वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस एनी एलिमेंट array element without the range index we will get run time exception array alert exception out of bound exception declaration construction and initialization of array in single line so this is the important so kaise karenge initialization in single line like that here you can see Maybe interviewer ask how you can declare and construct and initialize array in a single line. So now you can declare like that. Uh, this is the multiple lines we have. Like first we can declare, second you can initialize the size, uh, initialize the size and construct the size, construct the array, then initialize. Right? Three steps we have. The we combine three four, three steps into one. So int a equals to what is that value? Just use parenthesis 10, 20, 30, like that. 
Yeah, I will show this example also. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the first, we can declare like that. A first, we declare. A is there a v c d r t t is v there or y first we declare and second we construct this error y equals to y equals to new int of four four size did you take perfect perfect so now well now onwards initialize that 10 suppose zero position remember which i hear uh 10 value and y of uh, first position per uh, chahiye 20 right and y of uh, second position third position per mere ko 30 and y of mere uh, third position per chahiye fourth position per chahiye 40 so now we can declare like that if you want print then you can simply using for loop print this array how to extract the element from the array by using for loop if you want to print the element inside the loop for loop by using array for array by using for loop so now so these many lines be combined in the single line first we initialized y equals to y of and using parenthesis perfect like 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 here is mine this here is right now is not as uh, this is not my agenda uh, how to run this code and this is getting a bile time error or not no not this one just i am showing how to declare and initialize so now you can get perfectly not uh, so like that we can do this then on next like character also we can declare like that you can see array one two three then this is the vowel valid 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 now you can declare like a string also like that valid we can accent this shortcut even for the multi-dimensional array also so multi-dimensional ke liye kaisa karenge two hai na we have a two dimension na two dimension so first we separated one dimension with the comma and parenthesis parenthesis suppose int int dimension 1 dimension 2 and b equals to first take first parenthesis and if you are inserting inside the third dimension so declare this comma this we have two dimension this for this one and this for this one right initializing so diagram is like same same representation is the like first size is 0 and 1, one size, base size is 0, 1. And in the waist size, for 0 of 1 pen is less than the amount of 10. And also same thing is three dimensional. Like that. This is the example you can go through that and understand. I think it's clear. So this is some point. So we declare some um, three dimensional array. First, zero position, first position, third position, fourth position, fifth position. Now the system dot out dot printer zero of one of one. Zero of one of one. Here you can see what is that output I will show you. Alright. The screen is presenting. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 
So now here, zeroth means this one. Okay, first means this one. Okay. Of first of first. Let's go first and first of first. Fifty. Like that um, second. Zero position with this one, this in the first position. So zero and of first. First of first. Like first of first. Zero one, first of first. Now here, first zero one. Now is the first position, not right now is zero. First position, 50 and 40. And zero, the zero location is 40 of two. What is add index? Because in the in this dimensional three is not there. Two is not there, only zero one. If you here is one, then it will output is fifty. But right now is R index or to go in budget. Now a second you can first means second, 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 zero, one, two. Zero. Here you can see second now. Second zero one two sixty. Sixty is there sixty. And here is the one. Hundred is the ballot. This dimension. Like that you can analyze. This is two, you can go through and If we want to use this shortcut compulsory, we should perform declaration, construction and initialization in single line. Okay. If we are trying to divide into multiple lines, then we will get compile time error. If, if you get time to get not required, not. Okay. So, let So very important question, important. What is the difference between length and length method? Length, it is the final variable applicable only for arrays. This is the variable, final variable. This is only applicable for arrays. It is represented the size of array. If you, if you want to know how much size of this array, then you can use length variable. Example like this, if you want to know, if you want to know what is the size of x, then x dot length. X dot length. Okay. Then print the length. If you're using method, it will compile the error. Method is applicable for the string object. Method is applicable for a string object. Okay. It is written number of characters present in the string. How many characters are there? If you want to print like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 characters is there in this string. 4, 3, 7, right? So, in multi-dimensional array, length variable represented only base size, but not a total size. Go. Yeah, multi-dimensional logo, multi-dimensional. So the base size hota na, base size is uh, int a equals to new int of three five. So this size is base size. Ye return karega, na ki total size. Like the six is it will print. Six is it will print, right? So now it's complete. The diagram also. So length variable applicable only for arrays when our length method is applicable for string object. 
right now there is a no direct way to find the total size of multi dimensional array but the indirectly we can find as follows like that we can follow length length and then we combine this length anonymous array nameless array anonymous means kya hota jo unknown anonymous nameless means nameless 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 array so something we can create array without the name such type of nameless array is called the anonymous array the main objective of anonymous is just for the instant use we can create anonymous array as follows like that new equals to int new equals to int we can create at the time of anonymous array creation we can't specify the size of otherwise we will get compile time other right if you declare like this this is valid size is not at the time of anonymous array creation at the time of anonymous array creation we can't specify the size of array otherwise we will let compile time array, right based our programming requirement we can give the name of anonymous array there is no longer anonymous type Here, this is the new no here you can pass the anonymous array so here is not required to do like passing the name just pass this variable in this method this is the sum method and sum method taking this size of variables and uh, adding this extracting this x1 x1 to add total total to return then return the total with the sum like 10, 20, 30, 30, 60, 30, 40, 100. Output is 100. So here is the 100 test of it. So now there is some more we required. The sum point is there. So array element assignment. Assignment I have just told you. In this case, primitive array as an array element type is allowed, which can be promoted to declared type. So for this end type array and allowed array element type of bytes or local. Allowed element. For float type arrays, the allowed element type or byte sort car interlock. Byte sort int car. These four elements are allowed in that uh, integer array declaration. Other than that, it's relating array. Case two. In the in the case of object type array, as array element, we can provide either declared type or object type. Object is 10, 10 is 10, object is valid, valid, valid. Example to number, the class is there. Object is the super class, number is the subclass. Case 3. In the case of interface type array, as an array element, we can provide its implementation class object. What is that implementation class object? Runnable equals to new runnable 10. Now 10, 0, thread is 0, the string Vaskar. Array type, primitive array types, object array type, interface array, and abstract class type arrays. Primitive type, primitive type, declare type. Either declare type or its child class of object allowed, implemented a class object. Perfect. 
अरे वेरिएबल असाइनमेंट अरे वेरिएबल एलिमेंट लेवल प्रमोशन आर नॉट अप्लीकेबल एट आर ऑब्जेक्ट लेवल Their value can be promoted to int type, but pair array cannot be promoted to int. Which of the following is valid? Pair is valid. Pair array is valid. Invalid pair array. Invalid. You can see. I have it. This is the example. Array. Okay. So now total one object created eleven. How many object level for garbage collector which are having one value? Here you can see A and B is there arc so a string of array and arc in class with arcs system row dollar two length is two. What if you ask dot length plus plus an ox of y total Java test x y these many examples I have put a type of variables now next x next videos onwards we will next topic is our type variable so in this video we will cover arrays concept all the arrays we have covered this is the some examples you can go through that and practice these examples and keep it and We cover like hmm. we cover these many topics today's perfectly. So introduction we covered. Introduction we covered why Java is required, why array is required, and what is how. And then array declaration we know that array construction we know that array initialization we know that, and both the three things we can do in the single line. Okay, by using parentheses. Okay, length and versus length. Length is the variable. Variable final variable allowed for the arrays only. Length is the string method is allowed for the string. Anonymous array kya hota? Anonymous is array is nothing but jiska koi naam na ho. So anonymous array bolte hain jo new equals new. Or anonymous array mein restriction kya thi? Jiska ham size na de. Or array element assignment the jo assignment the jo example diye. And array variable assignment, array variable assignment. That's it. I shine the not simple. value is like now. Okay. So now, so bind up with the next session. Next session, uh, upon array ka recap, we will do a little bit. And we will do variables, type of variables, scope variable. Of this one. So thank you guys. And uh, here you can check this. Wait. Keep it. Okay. This is our YouTube channel. And got this notes here. You can see this group is there. So you can just send me the request. So thank you. We will meet next session.